Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome back to Wizards News. Today I want to talk about friends. How do you get them, where do you find them, and how do wizards unite? Let's dive in. Now this game is a lot of fun and it is very enjoyable to get out there in the field and play but it becomes even more fun when you have other people around you you can play with and you can bounce ideas off. Doing group fortresses are incredibly fun with the, the challenge of figuring out who does what and where do they all work together, how does this all work out. It, it, is, an, it is a very, very fun dynamic to the game and one that I, that I enjoy regularly if you can't tell. And Niantic states regularly the purpose for Niantic is, well, number one, to make games but they do want to get people out of the house they want to get people active and they want to get people together and that is really the big goals for the company is they want to make games that bring people out of the house and get them active and get them together with ingress they had a lot of problem with having two teams that were constantly fighting i mean it was it, it's the whole purpose is one team is trying to be better than the other team and that works really well for people in a team but then you have fighting between them and it doesn't really engender a lot of coming together and, and cooperative work Pokemon Go, they got a little bit closer, but they still have the three teams, and there's still a lot of infighting and, and things like that that go on. It just didn't quite mesh. So in Wizards Unite, everyone is on the same team, and it makes it far easier to get everyone together into a community. And this is fantastic. The only problem is, how do you find other people to get together? Because the game is first out and it is still growing, there aren't a lot of people who know about it yet. And it doesn't have the massive fan base of gamers that Pokemon Go had. There's a lot of bookworms out there who really aren't into games. And this is really one of the first Harry Potter games that is big enough to do something and is well thought through. So today I've tried to put together a few resources of where you can find other people in your area. And any links that I talk about, I will leave those down below in the description so you can get to them. And I'd love to share your ideas. Do you have any particular place or any particular method that you have for finding people? Let me know that down below. So first off, we're going to take a look at Facebook. Yes, Facebook. I know it's kind of like overlooked, but it is the big social media hub in the world. There are lots of others, and if you're in other countries, you may be doing more WhatsApp and things like that. And a lot of those you can use in the same way. We just want to come up here to the top, and I'm going to search here in Rockford. So I'm going to go Rockford Wizards Unite. And then one key is you want to come up here and select Groups. This will sort out things so you can find groups that are dedicated to this. And the top three here are Rockford Wizards Unite groups. And if I come down a little farther, I'm probably going to find Des Plaines in Chicago and uh, oh, Rockford, Michigan. Um, here's one, Rockford Wizards Unite with eight mem 18 members. I don't know if that's Rockford, Illinois. Um, but I would click on there and find out, and I might be able to find other people in my area. And this is where most of the Rockford people talk is on this particular group right here, Wizards Unite Harry Potter. Even though it isn't Rockford, it's listed Rockford, Illinois down here, and so it's searchable. So first thing is get on here and see if you can find a group. And if there isn't a group on here, then go ahead and start one and make it searchable. Put your city, state, and Wizards Unite in there, and other people will be able to find you then. Next up, we're going to come over here to Discord, and there are a bunch of Discord servers out there. The one I'm going to send you to is the WooTuber Discord. This is a Discord server set up by us, the WooTubers, and we've gotten together and put this up here. And there's actually a local communities chat on here so that people can ask, hey, is there a local community for this? And they can post their links to their local community. If they have a Discord server or if they have a Facebook group, you can put the link on here so that other people can come by and find you on the server. Next is one I like a lot, the Wizards Go app. And this is an app that is set up that you can have on your phone but it also is a website app so you can go on here and you can search for communities we're going to just come down here to the task force button and then it allows you to search global or local and not only are there discord servers but there's facebook groups and there's what app whatsapp and other things on here so you can find other people in your area on this list now all of these so far are great for general searches, but if you're wanting to see a map and see other people in your area, then there's a few other places you can go. Number one, Wizards Unite World here. This is one of my favorites and one that I use quite a bit. These are all Discord servers from around the world. So let me zoom in here towards Rockford, Illinois, uh, right up here at the state line. And let's see, oh, look at this, Rockford, Illinois. This is one that I have set up. And so you can click on this and then go to that particular server. And so you can try and find one in your local area. And if there isn't one in your exact area, such as if you were in Cedar Rapids, then I'd probably come over here to Dubuque and see if there's anyone in the Dubuque who actually lives in Cedar Rapids, which you commonly have people all over the place. Like I'm in Rockford, but I'm also in the Chicago group because every now and then I go into Chicago. So you never know if someone else is in the group who isn't actually in the right server, 
Maybe you could create one for your area too. Also on Wizards Unite World, they have this really cool feature, and this is a great way to find specific individuals near you. You can log in here and enter your username and your friend code, and then a city and state you want to be identified with. So here I have Leaky Velder. This is my username, and I am in McChesney Park. And so someone could come in here and they could message me and say, hey, what's up? And uh, do you want to get together? So I can click hello, and so you can start seeing the chat. Yeah, I've chatted with myself for a few times here just talking through this. But the nice thing about this is not only can you search by name and most recent, you can also search by location. So again, I can come down here for Rockford, Illinois. And when we search here in Rockford, there's me in McChesney Park. But then there's also two other people down here actually in Rockford. And I can click on them and then message them and see if we can get together and, and talk about this. Maybe meet up and do a fortress battle together. The last one I want to go to is here on Accio Wizards Unite, and this is another way where you can find specific people. And here, well, there's, there's a lot of them all over the world here. Everyone on here has their friend code and the username, um, but you can also on this put in a URL. So when you sign up on here, you can put in a link to something. And what I would suggest is put a link to your local group. If you've created that Facebook group, then put your link in there. If you created your Discord group, put your link in there. And that way when people are looking on the map and looking for people in the area, they can say, oh yeah, there's a person there. And what you'll see is right down here it says click here right underneath the friend code. And that is the link to their group or their site wherever they want people to go. So you can actually jump in there. And this way other people who find you on this map can then go to your group. Otherwise on here all you get is a friend code and then you're stuck back into the app where you can't actually communicate with someone. But if you put a link on here then it'll be a way that other people can help find you. And then of course if you're ever out playing and you see a fortress with a flame around it, then that's a chance that someone else might be there. Usually when I see a dark detector circle going around an inn, that's when I want to go over and look for it. If it's a fortress, for some reason usually the fortress is still flaming, the other person has left already. Uh, but if there is a dark detector circling around the end, then there's a pretty good chance you're going to find someone there. All of this being said, the game is still new. There hasn't been a whole lot of publicity about it, and a lot of people just do not know about it. So the game will be growing, and more people will be coming into this. I hope you like this little look into where to find friends, and if you have any particular method that really works for you, put that down below. I'd love to be able to read through those, maybe add those into the future video. Uh, that really does help out. I get a lot of great ideas from you in the community. Thank you for that. Also, if you did like the video, please hit like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. You know all those fun things. Those really do help out the channel. So that's about it for today. And until next time, have a magical day. Let's open a froglet chog. Today, we got ourselves a <gasps> Dumbledore. I haven't gotten one of him in a while. I think this is my third one. So if you want to get Dumbledore, come see me at FanFest. I'll be giving out the two extra ones I have.